Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. When we last left off, we had just met, I believe it was a dwarf, on the side of the road who had his things stolen, if I remember correctly. And then we got distracted, and we saved a human from a bunch of elves, and we killed those elves. Triss could not help Geralt. Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. So my intent is to um, help out. I, once again, yeah, it was a dwarf. I remembered correctly. My plan is to help out this dwarf, but let's try to get a recap on our quests. I don't think I did that last time. So we have the dwarf. We're going to help him. We have the volunteer. Look around for that uh, off-key singing troll or whatever. We have the uh, retired sword master or armor or whatever blacksmith um, that needs help with a supplier. We have... Wait. Oh, the high-stakes squint tournaments at the Pass of Flora. I didn't know that. That's where I saw the name before. I knew I had seen the name before I went there. Okay, so that's where the tournament is. If we so desire to do that. Might save it for later. I've done a lot of Gwent recently. We have fist fights in Novigrad. We have uh, DLC and chanting startup costs. We got all the cards. We need to find the smith's tools in uh, Unvik, which is in Skellige. We have the Gwent Velen players, which are missing the soothsayer. We have the mine with the baddies in it. Uh, we gotta visit the soothsayer. Following the thread. Oh, this is the one that we also did last time with Lambert. We helped him kill, uh, we helped him kill a vampire, and then we helped him go after the murderers of his, his buddy from another witcher school, apparently. Uh, this one's the guy that wants to go off to Skellige for, like, one final hurrah. We've got, uh, someone murdering people in Oxenfurt. We have a creature in Oxenfurt. We have the White Lady, which is uh, near Novigrad. Uh, Lord of the Wood, also near Novigrad. Deadly Delights. I don't remember this one. Hmm. I'm, that one doesn't have much information. The Elusive Thief. Go to the marketplace during the day and talk to Sylvester Amello. Oh, this was somebody specifically that posted a thing looking for help and tracking down a thieving imp. Door slamming shot. What was this one? Oh, a haunted manor. Yeah, there's a haunted manor owned by Kurt Dysart that we apparently need to go check out. This is the missing brother one we got super early. The Beast of Honorton. That was, uh, where was this one? Some place called Honderton. Okay. Mysterious Tracks. This one's outside Lindenvale. Swamp Thing. We made some progress on that in the Crookback Bog. Mystery of the Byway Murders. We also made some progress on that. Cleared out the town. We need to go down into, I believe it's Dwarven Ruins or something like that. We have Cat School gear to find. We've got the people that, the bandits or whatever that were hiding their stuff and old shrines and stuff and it ended up bad wolf school gear griffin school gear and that's it that's it i feel like we're keeping the quest count at bay recently i feel like more manageable and speaking of keeping the quest count down we're gonna work on this and get rid of this one one of the individuals Geralt met in his travels was a dwarf by the name of Rustin Muggs. This cocksure runt talked Geralt into, into retrieving some stolen documents for him. Go to the place where Muggs was attacked and examine it using your Witcher senses. And that is just north of me, I think. Oh no, east. I got confused. And there's something in the water. We'll check that out after. Ooh. Sorry, Rustin. Oh, probably should have used Roach. Oh, well. Dwarven moon. 
moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. The Dwarven Document Dilemma. something there but the guards were right there I will take this maybe yes hand over the documents thief me a thief I want him straight I did in a game of cards not how mug sees it Claims he was mugged. He lost, demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Hmm. <laughs> How much do you want? How much are they worth to you? I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of last white. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. I could mind control him, but I could also play him for them. I don't know who to believe, so I may as well get them by playing. Played cards for them once. Care to play again? Hmm. You're clearly in the middle of a lucky streak. Could very well continue. You might be right. Let's play. Oh, too easy. And then the master deck arrived. A decoy, a commando, Yennefer, and Philippa. Let's re roll some. Oh, I also got the Dun Manor medic. That's nice. Um, let's re roll Kira. Trebuchet? Let's re-roll Sile. Hey, I got the other melee dude. Freaking awesome. Two strength. You have no idea who you're facing. Death mode. How shall we destroy him? Don't want to go too hard here. But all my cards are quite good, so anything I play is bringing some heat. Uh, I'll play Philippa. He's staying close to me. I could take Death Mold out of there and just give him the round potentially. But I kind of don't want to do that. Alright, I'll play my melee, dude. Hanging fire. Alright, so I've got a commanding lead. I'm surprised he did not pass. Alright, I'll go ahead and pass. If he wants to beat me, he's gonna have to play at least two cards. And that'll get him down to three. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass. He can have it. There's one card. Two. Oh man, he's. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna have to play everything he has? Oh, just for a tie? <laughs> well, he tied, so he wins the round, but he's got no cards left. Like, what is he gonna do? Well, now I'm gonna go fool that guy. Fool that guy. So, let's start off. With a yin. Take out the commando. 
Actually, can you play hero cards with that? <laughs> he already passed. Oh, that's right. I gotta win two rounds, though. Well, that's his last card, anyway. Alright. Uh... Now, oh, fine. I... will just win. What, am I not that guy? I don't know. Maybe once in a while. Your turn. All right, play her. See, I'm going to I'm going to do this just to be evil. I'm going to get the full points, dang it. The full points. He's like, "Dude, what the heck? I really want those documents." 66. Acceptable. I win. I ain't blind. Take the damn things. Let none say I ain't an honest man. Gods know I'll only ever say kind things about you. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that dwarf now. That guy seemed... Pretty respectable, but then again, he could be a racist. So maybe he's respectable to me, but not so much to dwarves. Interesting dilemma. <laughs> Compare mugs and the attacker's accounts. And he's clearly a card player, so I think I believe that dude. I think I believe that dude. I think this dude's a liar. Well? I know who robbed you. Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You could hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W w what was it to do? I he weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show my face at home. Got your documents. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. Would not have it any other way? Well, I had no other option. That was weird. I don't like this guy. But, job's a job, I suppose. One experience point! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Alright. A completed quest. They do exist. Let's see... What was that one called? Ah, oh, crap. I already forgot the name of it. Do, 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 do. I might have went past it already. I gotta remember the name of the quest. There it is, the Dwarven Document Dilemma. One of the individuals Geralt met, it, met in his travels was a dwarf by the name of Rostin Muggs. This cocksure runt talked Geralt into retrieving some stolen documents for him. Imagine Geralt's surprise when he found out Muggs had not actually been robbed. Far from it, in fact. The scoundrel had lost his documents fair and square in a game of cards. Geralt successfully retrieved Muggs' documents. I must say, though Geralt is always repeating that he doesn't get involved in the affairs of others, the facts don't really bear him out. I don't know what you're talking about, Dandelion. I don't get involved. Alright. I'm thinking... Well, let me look over my quest again. I'm thinking main quest. I'm thinking main quest. We've made a lot of progress. Yeah, let's do main quest. I don't see anything here. I'm like... 
itching to do. This one's kind of interesting, though. Search the ruins of the fortress by the lighthouse. Search the Lord's Castle. The Griffin School gear. Well, maybe this. Let me see what this is. Because I think this is the one I got in that tower nearby. So those locations might be nearby. Oh, it's right there. That's not too far. And then we can check out some places on the way. Oh, and I got to check that out too. All right, so there's that one and where's the other? I don't see the other. Guess there's only one. I'm not sure. So that's where I originally went through. The broken bridge. I wonder if we can actually cross that. All right, I've I'm sold. I'm going to go do that. We're going to start in the water. Oh, actually, before I leave, though, I didn't look over here. Or did I? Maybe I did. Well, quick look won't hurt. No, I don't think I looked in these buildings. I definitely went in there because I think that's the murder building. These aren't even houses, they're just closed off. This is the murder building though, right? Yeah. Okay. In that case, I guess I have kind of seen everything over here, haven't I? Yeah, that's the big facility. Where we killed the dude, yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, we saw everything over here. <laughs> What's this main quest I'm hearing about? Don't worry. I came to reason, Anubis. I had a moment of weakness, I apologize. We're back to doing, uh, wandering around. Bird and I choose Gambison. Oh, what was that? That looked interesting. That looked interesting. What is this? Spike Rug Akaton. Light armor. Adrenaline point gain. Resistance to piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. Oh, no. It's not even close. So yeah, we'll go past the end and then we'll check that place out first. And then probably that and that. Maybe that. We'll head down. Let's go, Roach. Faster. Hey Shiny, you have got me playing The Witcher 3 again. Success! I did it, that was my end goal. I mean, in a way, it is. I like people Come on, Roach. revisiting games, checking out new games. It's fun times. Uh, what is... Oh, that's the bridge. Okay. Excuse me, coming through. Alright. Back on foot. have sacks of goods lying about. Seems like a bad idea. Greedy witchers could stop by. Alright. Wasn't much going on there. We got a little 
town here? I don't know if it's a full town or not. Draw him castle. I remember that. That's why. Actually, I think I got this quest. But I could be wrong. What is this place? It's got a board. Honey of the Goose? What the heck? Is it an inn? It's a weird name. Alright, let's see. Orchard Hands Wanted. Wanted, willing hands for orchard work. Mulching, watering, pruning, that sort of thing. Pay by the hour. Ulbrecht. P.S. Dwarves and halflings need not apply, for even on a ladder, they cannot reach the highest branches. And every one of them's a drunk who whinges enough for three full-sized men. Warning, fair folk, stay away from Velen. Even if they promise you a heap of gold, even if the wild hunt itself's on your heels, even if your whole family's waiting there for you, south of the Pontar, you'll find only hunger and death. A traveler. Dance your worries away. Come to the cunny of the goose for an evening of dance. We'll have fiddlers and pipers playing waltzes, jigs, bops, boleros, and Redanian struts. So be you blithe and bonny, and come enjoy some hay nani nani. An ode to podgy Bertha's dandy suitors. Bertha? I know Bertha. I disappointed her greatly. To podgy Bertha's dandy suitors, to runty ore hands from Mount Carbon, to Brugge's swarthy smiths and coopers, and Novigraders with dead hard-ons. Uh, that must mean something else. To Tretto's slimy pimps and boozers with perfumed trains and painted tarts. To Cleaver's clowns and red-nosed bruisers. Kiss my hairy arse, you losers. To weak-eyed slaves of elven riddles. To Oxenfurt Dawn. Dawns and tome perusers. Slurping seas of Ithleen's drivel. To fart down throats of other musers. Kiss my hairy arse, you losers. And to those plowing human racists, sodden turds from northern sewers, you runny squirts and hunter's braces, smearing witches with manures, kiss my hairy arse, you losers. Dwarf seeking female companionship. Listen, ladies, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm short. The few teeth I still got are yellow, and the bit of hair I've left is shedding fast. I can't dance, ain't much good with words, and the curse of riches don't afflict me. At times, I admit, I'll burp after a hearty supper. Yet note that they call me Thorin Steelpike, and not to toot me own horn, but the name fits me and me capacities perfectly. Any ladies interested can send their visiting card. I'll show up post haste, perfumed and with a box of Novigrad's finest chocolates in hand. Hink's a cheat. Take heed and read carefully what I've got to tell you. The man Hink known as Flush, who likes to sit in this inn and invite travelers to join him at his table for games of chance, plays with weighted dice and marked cards, bets shaved coins, and in general is a low-down, no-good cheat, scoundrel, and son of a bitch. Consider yourselves warned, a chastened victim. <laughs> Round two for Bertha. <laughs> I don't think so. Geralt, Geralt is 0 for 2 with the ladies so far. The second one went better. The second one wasn't, like, massive disappointment like the first one. But she had had enough. Blake went with Bertha. Maybe that's what she's after. She doesn't, she doesn't like the physical attrib attributes. She, she likes the mind. Once she sees me play Gwent, she'll fall head over heels in love with me. And then who will be disappointed, huh? And then. Bertha spread word through town of Geralt's shortcomings for sure. Dang it. You're probably right. Better make it strip, Gwent. It's not a bad strategy. 
Oh, hello, Redanian soldier. Good thing you're drunk. You can see me stealing everything. <laughs> are all the are all of the soldiers absolutely plastered? We can go at it here, or at my place. You choose. Oh, give it a hot eight. What do you want? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Show me your wares. What have you got there? It's nighttime in the city. Who wouldn't be plastered? I'm not in the city anymore. All right, he does have some cards. One of those looks very interesting. Half car healer. So another elf one. Uh oh, scorch! Yes. Oh, I've been wanting one of these. Yes. Impera Brigade. Those are pretty good. Nilf Guardian. Young Emissary. I've wanted a second one of those. Fantastic. And what's this? Francesca Fendebear. That's another leader card for my elves. All right. That was pretty good. Gwent, would you play me? Up for a few rounds of Gwent? All right. Let me make a few adjustments. I might even use the elf. Deck. Let's see. So I, de well, I definitely want Scorch in all of my decks. So what do I want to replace? Two Commander's Horns. I don't know. No, I would never actually take two, I don't think. The decoys are very good, though. Eh, I'll leave two Commander's Horns. That's fine. All right, you know, I'm just going to straight up add Scorch. I don't think I need to take anything out. That's just a good card to have. I, I might just straight up add it to each one. Oh, Guardian. All right, so, but in addition to that, I got some new cards. So I'm definitely going to bring in the Young Emissary. Definitely want two of them. Which means I can dump one of my crappier cards. Maybe Rain Farm? Actually, this deck's gotten pretty good. It's not Northern Realms good, but it's pretty freaking good at this point. Technician's really good. Young Emissary. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Rain Farn's gonna go. Or Zoltan. Rain Farn, you're out. Alright, anybody else I want to bring in? Nah, I don't think so. And then for my elves, I've got a new leader card. We got this one. The Elder Races have forgotten more than humans can ever hope to know. Draw an extra card at the beginning of battle? Yeah. That seems pretty good. Oh, but this is the double the strength of the archers one. Actually, I like this one a lot. I don't need the extra card. All right, but then we got some other cards. Have, ooh, have car healer? Oh, those are good. Two of them, too. All right, bring them in. They're good stuff. And the skirmishers call their friends. The archer does not do any such thing. I got a whole bunch of Mahakaman defenders, but they're five strengths. So I do really like those. We got two of those smugglers. like the veteran dudes for sure. They're just straight up better. What's the detail on that? Yeah, okay. Uh, well. Let's drop these two, I think. We got plenty of range. We don't need these ones taking up space, so. 
Remove, remove. All right. This looks really good. This deck's getting real good. All right, we're gonna use it. Two decoys. A rain, a clear weather, a horn. Wow, I need more power though. We do have the skirmisher, he'll pull out his buddy. We have the smuggler, he'll pull out his buddy. We have three Mahakaman defenders. Hmm. And that pulls it out of the deck? Discard or both? In the deck. Alright. I don't know how much decoys are going to help me unless he uses spy, so I'm gonna reroll one of the decoys. Got another defender. And. Let's drop the rain. And we get fog. Alright. He's got Dandelion, which has a commander's horn on it. Well, that's pretty freaking good. Well. Jeez, I got all melee. Well, how come a defender? All oh, right, he's using an elf deck. I didn't even notice. That commander's horn's gonna make things difficult. I might stall. Let's stall. What is that? Oh, he did give me a spy, but I can't take it. That is a strong card. What is that? Mysterious Elf. You humans have unusual tastes. Alright, well that complicates my approach a little bit. I would love to decoy it, but I can't. Oh wait! Can I? I thought decoys wouldn't work on hero cards. They do? Oh, no, but won't let me. Alright, you know what? He gets this round. Decoy. And if he's silly enough to pass, then I'll go ahead and take the win. Unfortunately, he still has a card advantage. But... What are you gonna do? I pass. Round start. He starts us out this time. He's passed. Well, he's just gonna give me this round. Uh, I gotta play something though, so we'll play. Okay. All right, so my seven cards have to beat his nine. I think they've got a chance though. I think so. Brought out his friend. Oh, but he's bringing out friends too. Ah, oh, two others? What a jerk. It's all right. It's all right, we've got some firepower. Oh, healer comes out. I think I've got him. We'll see. Oh, well, that complicates things. That complicates it a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough firepower now. Maybe. Depends on what he's got left. He's got rain, that doesn't help him. Well, hopefully he doesn't have 16 points worth. 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, I can stall a little bit longer, and I don't know why, but... I should rethink that leader card. A lot of my stuff is melee. No, he got me. He got me. That deck's not quite up to snuff yet. Welcome. Welcome. But can you beat my second best deck? Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Can you beat my second best? Because the Nilf Guardian deck's getting pretty good. Oh, it's a Scorch. Beautiful. Torrential Rain, Commander's Horn, we got a Siege Technician, the Archer, we got two of those guys, beautiful. Two hero cards. Oh, and that's freaking broken McBrokerson. That dude's super broken. Alright, this is looking good, actually. I like this. This is looking good. Uh, maybe we'll get rid of the... Maybe we'll drop the rain. Drop the rain. Oh, we got Mavran Vorhis. Or Morvran, however you say his name. Alright, I'll keep the commander's horn. All that looks good to me. We're starting. We play him. Rained on me. What a jerk. Commander's horn, A. Okay. We are tied. Lorveth. How much do I want to commit to this first round? I could scorch him. But then he still has the commander's horn. That seems like a bad time to use scorch. I might give him this one. You know what? You can have it. You get this round. Alright, let's see what he does here. Oh, he's coming out strong. Okay, I was expecting him to play something small. Let's go ahead and play our Siege Technician. Bring out the Siege Engineer. And he passes. Hmm, that actually leaves me in s a slight pickle. I don't have a great kind of throwaway card, so I guess... I guess I just gotta play him. Yeah. Alright, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, or him, it doesn't really matter. We'll play him. All right, pass. Five cards against six. Let's start with him. Let's come out strong. Come out swinging. Let's see. So I might want both of those, and then we can horn them both. Otherwise, I got that. Wait, so if I pull out a guy that pulls out a guy, <laughs> does that work? I bet you it does, actually. I think it does. Well, let's do that then. Pull out a guy to pull out a guy. 
<laughs> well, that's kind of silly. Um, yeah, we should get these two. Right? I think I have an, another one waiting. Yeah. Okay, we'll play him. <laughs> Infinite chain. <laughs> you just play, you, you just make a discard deck. Discard retrieval deck. Could definitely work. Alright, we'll play him and pull out him. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and horn. I assume this is Gwent. You assume correct, Higgy. Alright. I don't have a leader card. Where do I? What's he doing again? Pick a torrential rain from your deck. I thought I already discarded that, though. Well, I mean, I may as well rain. I'm not using siege. May as well. I'm confused by that, though, because I thought I discarded it. Oh, he's going to pull out another with that card. Well, I am going to scorch all of his cards. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Why did it scorch my own cards? Wait, what? Wait, what? I just lost. Oh, I won anyway. Wait, what? I gotta reread that card. What the heck is that? This card after playing kills the. Oh! Kills the strongest cards on the. What, what those weren't. Oh, with the commander's horn they were. So it's not necessarily. Oh, that changes. That changes the usefulness of this card. I thought it was the opponent's strongest cards, but you can totally screw yourself with this. Mm, I think it's still good, but that makes it more situational. Makes it more situational. Uh, well, we won either way, somehow. Oh, and we got Stefan Skellen, whoever that is. Looks like it's Nilfgaardian. Stefan Skellen. Oh, wow. It's nice to have a spy, but nine points? Jeez, I don't know about that. That is an expensive spy. Spies are still super useful, though. We'll take him. Not the best in the world, but he'll do. Um, who we give up? Maybe Cynthia. Yeah, let's give up Cynthia. Cynthia, you're out. I don't know though. I'm. I may very well change at some point because that's nine points to the enemy I don't know about that don't know about that the villain Tretin mirth probably spelt wrong is better than scorch well, I don't think I have that. So that's not an option for me. Okay, let's see. Read the notice board. We did not go over here. There's a shopkeep and some house. There's also something over here. I think I went there, though. 
Actually, I think I went here before when I first arrived in Novigrad. Well, let's take a quick look. Maybe I didn't. This reminds me of the card game Caravan in Fallout New Vegas, and that I never learned how it works. <laughs> Gwent's pretty straightforward. It's got some interesting strategies you can employ, but for the most part, you play cards and they have point values. And that's kind of the gist of it. It's it's not a game that has um, like resource costs to play the cards. So like really what you're trying to do is just get the best card you possibly can into a deck. And I obviously had not been here before. And we got honeycombs. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go check out the merchant. You were laughing so hard the whole round waiting for me to discover that. I, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I still won, so it's okay. It was a valuable lesson at an opportune time. How am I tonight? I'm hanging in there. How you doing? Still alive. Can't ask for much more. All right, merchant. After I'm done stealing your honeycombs, I hope you're ready to buy all my stuff. And actually, I didn't try to sell anything to the last merchant, did I? Totally forgot. Oh, you got too excited about the cards he had. Ow! Hello, merchant. Greetings. Oh, I know you. Well, either way. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Weird, he's a traveling merchant, but he's not traveling. He's given up the traveling life. He likes this spot. Let's see. We'll sell that too. Why not? Only the finest things belong in our inventory. Oh, crap. Well, I didn't need those anyway. Although I just ate up all of his space. Oh, well. I had so many things I wanted to sell. Oh well. Farewell. Farewell. Playing The Witcher or well, watching This Is Geralt Died by Bees? What do you mean, like Nicolas Cage in that bee movie? Not the bees! Uh, actually, I'm gonna go here first. Let's see what that is. I have a quick finger for selling. It's true. I just open up my bag and dump all the contents on their table. This is a monster nest. I actually was not expected. What do we have here? Monsters. Rod fiends. They ain't not the nest. Needs to be destroyed. I gotta watch out for these because they will one drop. With their stupid explosion. Get away! Other than that, the reason. And you can use it against their friends. Well, I do like that. Like right here. Oh! Boom! Oh. Chain reaction! That seems like a really bad. Like, uh. What am I thinking of? Like a really bad, like, mutation to take on as a species. Their evolution failed them, I feel. A drowner? Oh, devourer? What is a devourer? That thing looks gross! What is this? 
Is it just a bigger rot thing? But it's got like a a mouth stomach. I don't think the other ones have that. I don't know, it doesn't blow up. Oh! He blows up. <laughs> I found out he blows up. All right, ranged attacks for him. Where am I? Uh, oh, I know where, where I'm at. Ah, oh, this is pre-merchant. Oh, well, I'll swing by the merchant again. Well, this that well that's the thing. I didn't. I wanted to sell more of that junk, junk. So it all worked out. It all worked out. Hi, guard dog. You did a terrible job. I just want you to know that. Like, if he's not there to stop me from robbing stuff, then what exactly is he doing? That was a huge dog. Yeah, I thought it was a wolf when I came out. Like, what's a wolf doing here? Oh, never mind. It's just a big freaking dog. Greetings. <laughs> that went well. It went very well. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I couldn't have planned it out more perfectly. Alright, sell, sell. Do, 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 do. Alright, not selling the good stuff this time. We save that for the merchants with like a billion currency. Speaking of a billion currency though, not doing so bad myself. 9,306. Farewell. That dwarf better watch out. I'm gonna be the new bank. Alright, round two against the Rot Fiends. So, I'm gonna have to get to range. And I guess crossbow him. I don't know what else. If Quinn is active, it may save me, but I don't want to test out that theory. That seems like a very broken enemy. Just like, if you kill it, near it, it one-shots you. <laughs> seems a little much, especially since I'm like double his level. It still one-shot me. Seems a little powerful, I must say. Oh god! Okay, that's okay apparently. <laughs> so, as long as I do like an execution move on them, I can uh, kill them safely in melee. Interesting. I thought for sure that was Geralt committing suicide in a very interesting way. Not fiend nest needs to be destroyed. I'm the most wealthy witcher ever. I might be. Uh, and I should probably. You see, he's only level five. What the? Why does that do so much damage? Uh, I think they're necrophages. Hello. Hey, did you just hit Roach? Oh, you are so freaking dead. All right, I gotta be careful here. Okay, and one more. Oh, Bolt. Oh, okay, that didn't do anything. 
All right, let's test out the Quinn theory. Boom. Oh. Oh, well, what the heck? What the heck? Last time he did like a massive poison explosion. This time he just dies like a regular rot fiend. Wow, I feel cheated now. Confused shard. Monster brain. Hmm. Okay, well, apparently they're not that bad. Have I made black blood? Oh, that reminds me. I should look at my potions that I can make, because I can probably make a bunch. It's been a little while since I took a gander. Uh, I think I did make black blood. If not, I have the recipe. Uh, so let's see. Oh, that's just alcohol. So we can make the enhanced Devil's Puff Ball. I'm sure. The enhanced Demerician Bomb. Blocks magic and monsters' magic abilities. I wonder if their explosion at the end is considered a magic ability. Enhanced Summum. That's the blind. Moon dust contains silver splinters that temporarily prevent monsters from transforming and regenerating. Well, that sounds useful. Superior dancing stars, the fiery explosion. In decoctions, we got nothing. Oh, no, Katakon Coction increases critical hit chance. Well, I like that. I like that. Uh, werewolf decoction significantly increases stamina regeneration during a clear moonlit night. Very specific. Oils. Enhanced beast oil. I'll take that. Enhanced vampire oil. I don't feel like this isn't going to come in handy too often, but... May as well. And... Potions. We got a blizzard. When you are in danger, time slows for a short period. Interesting. Oh, not only do I have black blood, I have the enhanced black blood. Witcher's blood injures and knocks back vampires and necrophages when they wound him. If the damage is good, I can see this being good. Knockback, I don't really care. Unless it's like really strong. I'll try it. Enhanced Maribor Forest accelerates the generation of adrenaline points. That could be good. Oh, Enhanced Thunderbolt. Oh, heck yeah. Give me that. Full Moon increases maximum vitality. That's also a good one. All right. Got some good stuff. Thanks for the reminder. Definitely some potions I want to use from time to time in here for particularly dangerous fights. Most certainly, where is it? Oh, it's over here. The enhanced thunderbolt increases attack power. Doesn't say how much though. Oh, 30%. Never mind. Extended duration. Oh, it's actually the same. It's still 30. It's just extended. All right. Still good. Not quite as good as I was thinking it was going to be. Cuz I was pretty shocked it was a 30% already. All the alchemy, we're back in Hogwarts. I'm a witcher, what do you want? Not that I use my witcher tools very often, because honestly, like the bombs have been very underwhelming. And only some of the um, potions are particularly really good. All right, what is that, a wyvern? It's a wyvern. Let's see, I think I have some bolts on me. I do. Which bolts shall we use? Five, seven. Don't need anything particularly strong here. We use this. Oh. Oh, I have a draconid oil. I think I have an enhanced one too. Is it enhanced? 
Wait. I thought I had Draconid oil. I guess I don't. All right, never mind. Is that level 18 or 10? I think it's 18. Yeah, 18. He's got some health. Ow, he shoots poison. What's that all about? He's got such a little stubby tail, it's like comical. What is that? <laughs> Wait, he'd leave? Oh no, we're not done. We're not done. Get your butt down here. Why am I on the torch? Not bad. All right, I must know. Oh, well, never mind. I was going to say, I wanted to see what actually would do. Alright, now I must know. I must know! Eh, pretty weak. I could do Erden. Problem with Erden is like, if you drop it, it, it works great while they're in it, but you kind of push them out of it. And, Position a little bit better, but Ow. Ow. oh wow, he hits for like nothing. That's all you got. He's very sensitive about his tail shinies. You hurt his feelings. I, I I feel like he's more upset about me killing him than hurting his feelings. Just saying. I feel like one was worse than the other. Bounty Hunter's Gambeson. Well, it came from a level 18 Wyvern. Maybe it's good. 74 armor. Axie Sign Intensity, Bludgeoning, and Slashing Resistance. Nah, it doesn't even remotely compare. All right, search the ruins of the fortress by the lighthouse. Oh, there's the other one. This wasn't showing before. Now it's, now it's over there. Oh, I might have to do that. And then we can just check out everything. I feel like we've been there, but maybe not. Uh, maybe not. That's where the, um, the spy dude was killed by the wild hunt. All right. Can you make that jump, Geralt? I have my doubts. Here we go. Geralt the long jumper. He's got confidence. He's got confidence. Oh, okay. He dove instead. That's acceptable. You weren't going to make it. place over here. Little fortress. This is Hindhold, apparently. something but not seeing it
Maybe I'm just hearing the birds up there? It sounded closer. Oh, I was holding my Witcher senses. That's why it sounded so close. It takes some getting used to. Oh, it's in Dragas. I might... Do I have insectoid oil now? I know I have the recipe. Uh, Cursed, Necrophage, Beast, Elementa, Hybrid, and Vampire. Oh, they go down real. Oh, I thought he was dead. Oh! Big boy's here! Oh, get stun locked! Can't handle this! Galaga Gambeson. I keep getting these Gambesons that are not that great. That one's better, though. That one's closer in armor, but I'd rather have that vitality, I think. Although the defenses are... are better. Oh, well. I'm gonna stick with mine. What is this? An nog mab tadenmok or something. Book is burned, only a few pages still intact. Ivis. Oh wait, no, that's all in Elven or something. Geralt, you make anything out of this? Nope. Okay. Have I played Gwent with Lambert? I have not. Had no option to. Looks like I need the old Igni. Oh, why not? Just walk right through it. Okay. Unexpected. Oh, those birds are actually fightable. Oh, it's a monster nest. Is it now? What are these? Harpies? I have heard about you. I think it was Ard that's supposed to be good. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it makes sense. Knock them down. Oh my god, there's so many. Boom! Get wrecked! Oh, on the ground's a bad place for you. I don't remember. They might be weak to beast oil. Let's try. It doesn't hurt to try. I feel like we'll be able to tell immediately since it's 25%. Silver sword, I assume. Wait, do I have my steel out? I got my steel out. Ow! Boom! What now, you piece of- Oh, get stabbed! Oh. oh, I couldn't do the finisher though. That's sad. Finally! Finally, an enemy where other uh, sigils are good. Other signs. I have beaten the hunt. Another harpy has joined the fray and is immediately. Back. You were late to the party, fool! I light you on fire. <laughs> That'd be kind of an interesting use for Igni. Slide all the corpses on fire. Leave no trace. 
Harpies got their nest here. Destroy it. Fire in the hole. Destroy ten monster nests using bombs. It acts as if I could use something else. Now I'm curious. Oh, I don't think I looted the last nest, did I? I might not have. I have a bad habit of not looting the nest, but I might have. I can't remember. Oh well. Hopefully I did. Oh, who's this? Ball stick sledder. What a name. All right, ball stick. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh my god, that name. <laughs> what happened to you? May the gods smile on you and me, sis. Now I'm asking you to read this careful, for what I got to say is important. As soon as you set hands on this writing, gallop off to that fence Kramer, what's based in Maribor. Tell him we've got some first class gear and witcher sword diagrams to sell. Aye, I can see you now. Scratching your head, or more likely your arse, and asking, Did I hear that right? You sure did. Twas my luck to come to care for a witcher that got one foot in the grave and to other hovering right above. I was sat there looking at the poor man suffering agony, and thought to myself, He don't need this kit and these papers where he's going, while for us, that's the fixings we need to get us started in the world of business. If we sell them for the right price, that is. Aye, I hear you frightened, so stop. I didn't take everything. In fact, nobody will even realize out of his shites. Out of his shites missing? That's a weird way to put that. Sad though, ain't it? This witch is a good man. First, he helped the baronet solve the riddle of that lighthouse and was sending ships into the rocks. Then he killed that dragon, ate all the peasants. Problem is, a dragon's no easy pickings, and our valiant hero got quite the licking taking it out. He's done for. That's certain. So as soon as they bury him in the tomb on Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it, I'm curious how they'll put him in that crypt at all, for word is a vampire's made its made it his lair. P.S. I also lifted a few flasks off the Witcher, but since they, or but since they're like not to survive the journey, reckon I'll sample them myself. See how Witcher Hooch goes down. Maybe we'll make a business out of that too. Your brother-in-law, a ball stick. <laughs> That is not an accident. Alright, so he drank the Witcher potion. It didn't go well for him. Witcher George's Confession. I, the undersigned George of Kagan, a Witcher by trade, testifies as, testify as follows. While traveling through Velen, I received a summons to provide professional testimony in the matter of the accused Bartoslav of Lovefield. This Bartoslav stands accused of causing se several shipwrecks near the lighthouse which, is, which it is his duty to keep. Ships laid astray by errant signals from his lighthouse have repeatedly smashed against rocks near the shore, and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for this state of affairs. During the trial, Bartoslav testified that he was diligent in the fulfillment of his duties and that the accidents were caused by night wraiths deceiving sailors with their false glow. Having investigated the area, I can testify that I found no trace of night wraith activity. There are likewise no signs of noon wraiths, mamoons, urn nymphs, or any other specters in the habit of misleading weary travelers journeying by foot, sea, or horse. I did, however, find the catastrophe's true cause. They were not the fault of the night wraiths blamed by the accused, but neither were they the fault of the lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken to lighting fires on the hill at night and then robbing the ships that subsequently wreck upon the shore. I was put on their trail by Bartoslav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper Bartoslav of Lovefield is not guilty of the crimes of which he stands accused and should be freed. I also humbly ask for the bailiff, to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection. For in light of the revelations Bartoslav's son led me to discover, there will surely be certain parties with cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must return there post haste to kill the beast and complete my task. Signed, George of Kagan, Witcher. 
or transcribed by Vincenzo Stock, Marshal to the Royal Prefecture in Gorsbellum. All right. I guess the harpies moved in after. And that appears to be everything here. Oh, well, we can climb higher. Maybe there's something up here. We have skeletons. Guess the harpies were feasting on people up here? I guess so. Bad times for them. You think you'd be down at the nest? Yeah. Appears to be everything. So we have one more place. Search the ruins of the fortress by the lighthouse. And that one's way to the west over there. Um, oh, Hindhold has a fast travel. Fantastic. Take a, a quick jot around the tower because I feel like there might be some stuff around here. There is. Well, we could have gone in this way. Any reason? I guess that leads right up to the nest, or maybe not. Yeah, I think it does, actually. And this is where I came in. All right. Where is that fast travel? Oh, hello. I thought I killed all of you. Not actually sure how that missed me. I won't complain. Okay, we are going to. I guess we'll go to Heatherton and we'll just hit those three spots and then maybe we'll travel south from there just to see if there's anything else out there. Been a long time since we've been to Heatherton. How have I already been playing for an hour and 20 minutes? This game, like, eats time. I'm pretty sure they did some sort of sorcery. There's like a time warp in this game. Doesn't make any sense. I was like, I've probably been playing like a half an hour. Level one, wild dog. I've never even seen a level one before. What's it doing out here? Are they after me? Are you seriously gonna attack me, little level one wild dog? That's a terrible idea. That is a horrendous idea. <laughs> I think he did like 2% health damage. Oh, the other one was smart enough to run. Now watch, level one dog's there, and then I'll like wander into like a level 35 dragon or something. And did I not mark this? Oh, I totally didn't. And what is that? All right, I'm kind of curious what that is. Could be nothing, could be something. 
one-shotting the dogs. Those are actually the lowest level dogs I've ever seen. Like, even right out the gate when I first entered Vela and I had like level five dogs on me. I didn't even know level one dogs were possible. Oh, I found some ashes. I feel like he was slightly more than ashes. Superior insectoid oil. We're just gonna skip over the regular. I'm down. Actually, I think I did have the regular. I just don't have it made. All right, so I was right to check that. There was actually something, actually something quite good. And we're gonna check this. What is, oh, what is that? Is that like, oh, what's after me? Oh, harpies. It's a griffin? Maybe a cockatrice? I'm bad at recognizing the monsters. What is that? And do I need to fight it? I assume it's guarding. Yeah, it's a guarded treasure. Alright, what is this thing? Griffin? Cockatrice. Looks like a chicken head to me. Basilisk! Let's dance. All right. It's basilisk against the guy. I think it's beast oil. Beast oil. Let's try that. Oh, wait. No. Silver sword. There he goes. Oh, got him! Flipped his wing. He didn't like that. Hey! Hey, who said you could fly again? Oh, get wrecked, Basilisk. What the? Stop flying! Freaking cheater. Oh, I tried to, to hit him. Wait, did you just die? Oh, no, no, no. I stunned or something. Oh, I missed. Gotcha. Got him. Oh, I chopped his head off. I didn't even notice. He was in the bush when I did it. Oh, is the harpy after me now? Yeah, harpy's after me. All right, harpy, you want some of this? I literally just killed. I killed that right in front of you, and you want some of this? What's wrong with you? All right, well, 
I guess I'm gonna have to shoot it to get its attention. Wait, bolt with bait? Wait, what is bait? Bolt with bait? What does that mean? I don't know. It just seems to do damage. I don't know why it has bait, but okay. Apparently it does. Oh wait, not Axie. Hard. <laughs> the other ones are smart enough to stay away. Alright. What'd we get? Monster Heart, Basilisk, Mutagen, Venom, and a Hide. Perfect. Winestone Wolf Weapon. I feel like that's an appropriate weapon name for me, but is it good enough? Oh, it's pretty close. Armor, oh no, I'm not gonna give up the critical hit chance. No, not quite. Close, but no cigar. All right, let's head over here. This was the lighthouse where apparently Bandits were lighting fires to crash ships, which means that there might be some ship remains around here. It's entirely possible. And I'd be a little disappointed if there wasn't. Considering this game's attention to detail. If you tell me that ships have been crashing in, there better be some crashed ships. That's what I'm saying. Better be at least a few crash ships. At least one, actually. I'll give you a pass with one. I don't see any. Oh, fail. Oh. Oh, it's a wyvern. I'll recognize, I recognize that stumpy tail anywhere. It's <laughs> so non-threatening. I don't know. Are you guys scared by those? I am totally not. They just make me laugh. Look at his, look at his goofy tail. How can I take you seriously? I can't take you seriously. Shoot you right out of the sky. Hope you're ready. Right there. Go, oh, got him! <laughs> oh, I got his attention. Well, he doesn't want to come out and play now. Well, dang it, how do I get to him? <laughs> I guess I could just go down. Place of power. I'll place of power. From it. It's a bunch of red. But I don't see it. I feel like I'm about to get ambushed. The lurkers are under me? I don't know. I don't like it. Ability point! Oh, speaking of ability points, I haven't really been using those, have I? Oops. Quinn sign intensity increased, I like that. Alright, what is the secret here? I gotta somehow, oh, maybe I can like find an under, maybe that's what it is, like an underground like, tunnel or something. Well, if there is, I'm thinking it's over here. at a loss. I don't know. There must be. Well, maybe back where all those enemies were. They must have been there for some reason. And they were kind of under me, so that implies there's a cave down there. Oh, 
Didn't one shot him for once. Uh oh. Mistakes were made! not good at this. I apparently hit a flying dragon, but hitting a drowner who's swimming, impossible. Alright, I gotta surface. Keep my potato. I'm going back in. I'm potatoed. I've been properly potatoed. Now I can aim perfect accuracy I got them both low Dade How oh, about that? It's Magic A place of power Alright So that didn't get me in Oh, wait, what's this? Aha! Just what I was looking Oh! Oh, that made a really big sound. I thought I pissed off something very big. <laughs> this fish really likes me. Hi. I shall call you Fred. If I ever get a house, I'll come back for you, Fred. Ah! Why are they so dumb? They don't even attack me. Who's there? Hello? Over here, Johnny. Hi. Okay. Alright, time to surface. Fred's the name of my leg fish. <laughs> Is it really? That's funny. It be dark down here. Swim faster, girl. You're slow. Oh, darkness. Imprisoning me. All that I see. Enhanced moon dust. Oh, no. This doesn't lead up. Oh no! Oh wait, yes it does. I, I feel like that wyvern's gotta be terrified of me after that shot I made. He knows the skilled warrior that approaches. It's just out for a joyride. Manuscript paid for killer whale. Interesting. Hidden treasure. What was that? Was that good? Turtokair blade. Wow, 50% critical hit damage bonus. That seems high. 35% chance to cause bleeding and 5% critical hit chance. Oh, this is interesting. I don't know, signif not significantly, but a fairly significant less damage, but 50% critical hit damage bonus. That's kind of absurd. This might be worth it. What do you guys think? I assume critical hits in this game are, are double damage, or are they not? Because if they're like 150, then that wouldn't make this worth it. But if they're double damage crits, I think this is better. Do it. 
Hey gamer Kimpachi, how's it going, man? I don't know. Anybody? Any math nerds? Or hey, math nerds and Witcher nerds know which one I should go with here? Plus the thirty, well, thirty-five percent chance to cause bleeding. I wonder how much damage bleeding does. Let's at least try it. Let's at least try it. And plus it has the two rune slots, so I can give it more damage. I think I have some damage ones. Chance to stagger, adrenaline point. This one like raw attack power. I got armor piercing. Stagger, chance to freeze. Oh, I thought I had raw attack power. I guess armor piercing? Let's give it one armor piercing and I don't know. Chance to stagger. That's good. Alright. Overwhelmingly, you guys are saying to use it. I think I agree. It's just, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to use something that has lower base damage. It kind of hurts the soul a little bit. But yeah, I think those crits and that bleeding put it over the edge. It's less critical hit chance though, which I'm not a huge fan of, but you know, we can deal. Dobromir's journal. Daz chewing my head off about going to the lighthouse, about the fire needing tending. Thing is, don't give a plowing rart's arse, frankly. What am I, some golem fit for naught but climbing up these four times a day to drop off wood and pour oil? I'd much rather learn how to work a forge in town or at some gnomish foundry. Grandpa Amsvari was a smith, wasn't he? Even forged witcher blades, so who's to say none of his talent trickled down to me? Oh, and we got another one. That one seems identical. Oh no, it's way worse. Raw damage, way lower. X-Men's boots. So this must have been the revenge on the, the lighthouse, dude. My guess. All right, well, I knocked the wyvern down there. I don't even know how to get there. He's kind of stuck. There's some loot there, though, that suggests I can get there somehow. At this point, he's gonna be pissed at me. He's gonna be pissed. Not that it's gonna help him. I mean, really? Oh, I can just climb up here. I did not see this ladder before. Hello! I will fight you in a closet. Uh, that stench. Yeah, I'm the one who shot you. Hi. But you weren't expecting to get shot when you were joyriding, huh? You think you can kill me, Stubtail? Ain't gonna happen. Bow to my power. Why well, an egg? Why not? I feel a little bad. I killed mama. Crafting notes. Now, there's a commission I haven't seen the likes of in ages. Got a visit from that witcher the baronet summoned about them evil powers, took over the lighthouse, and were crashing ships against the rocks. He stood there in the doorway to my forge, looking noble as a prince or duke or something, and said his silver sword got damaged during his last job. Blade was chipped bad, almost broken in two spots. I asked how he expected me to know how to fix a weapon like that, and he gave me a diagram and said I was to forge him a new one, and promised quite the sum in return. Damn near tuckered myself out making that thing. I, I did my apprenticeship with Master Barnaby of Novigrad, and I've made a Witcher blade or two in my life, but it's been over three years since I last touched anything of the sort. In the end, didn't matter though. Before I could finish, the Witcher figured out what was going on with the lighthouse and had to make haste to the Baronet's castle for... 
the rest is uh, illegible. All right, so we got all the diagrams? Looks like it. I think our quest is done. It is done. Completing quests and not getting new ones. What game am I playing? It's surely not The Witcher. It's surely not The Witcher. It can't be. Check stats to see what your total crit rate is. How do we do that? Maybe it's under character? No. But while I'm in here, I do have a lot of points. Mm, strong attack increase. Arrow deflection. Time slowed an additional 50% while aiming the crossbow. Actually, I think that would be useful. I will acquire this ability. Oh, and I have a uh, slot for another mutagen. Interesting. All right, so let's slot this in. And then, what's that one? 211 point loss, pawn taking damage is lowered, eh. Alright, what's my mutagen that I want? So I want a blue one. Uh, or at least potentially blue one. I could get more attack power, actually. But what's blue do again? Sign intensity, sign intensity, sign intensity. I guess they're all the same. Well, screw it. Let's move this. Oh. Let's move this up. I guess we just do this instead. Nope. Ah, it's, how's this work? All right, put this here. And then put this here. And we get 10% attack power. Perfect. I thought it went up based on how many points you'd put in a thing, but I guess not. All right, so one more ability. What sounds good? What's this? Ard sweep. Ard strikes all opponents in a certain radius. Knockdown chances, twenty-one percent lower. Oh, that sounds terrible. Fire stream. Alternate sign mode emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. I don't want to be a mobile. Magic trap. Damages and slows enemies within a ten-yard radius. Destroys projectiles passing through this area. With the uh, Urden. Active shield. Creates an active shield, maintaining it and blocking attacks. Drains stamina. Damage absorbed by the shield restores player vitality. Wait, what? Creates an active shield, maintaining it and blocking attacks. Drains stamina. Doesn't that always drain stamina? Damage absorbed by the shield restores player vitality. I'm not understanding this. Puppet target enemy briefly becomes an ally. Oh wait, we can take people over? I gotta try it. I gotta try it. All right, point there. Advanced signs. To cast a sign in its alternate mode, hold R2. Hold R2. So normally, I guess we, yeah, I guess normally we do press. We just press R2. Alright, I still don't understand this one. Let's try it out though. Maybe then I'll understand it. Alright, point there. Oh, I have to actually equip this though. Crap. What do I want to give up? Uh, increases both weapon damage and sign intensity. I want to keep that. Oh, that increases critical hit damage. Dang it. And that's for each piece of light armor. Jeez. All right. You know what? Puppet's cool and all, but we're going active shield. Oh, actually, we can do them all. Never mind. There we go. Alrighty, and I was just gonna run down this road and see if we see anything interesting. This will take me back to that uh, tower where Siri fought the basilisk.
I am kind of curious. I feel like that leads to something. Obviously to some harpies, but... It just seems odd that this... Well, I guess it just goes to the harpies. Oh! New marker! Harpy feeding ground. Alright, I'm ready. Apparently this slows down time now. Oh, wow. That's significant. Oh, I can't quite aim that high. Maybe this will work? Oh, I got a leader more too. I kind of don't like the slowdown though because then it's hard to gauge their travel speed. I might actually get rid of that, we'll see. Get down here! That was pretty close. Can't aim that high. Alright, maybe if I like go up higher they'll come play. Up here, stupid harpies! Oh, oh, or well, they'll just stop. I guess we're good. Alright. Enhanced Tawny Owl. And this is a fast travel place. Seems like a terrible place to fast travel to, but... <laughs> Maybe? Is that the fast travel? Yeah, I guess it is. Alright, we don't need to kill the other harpies. If they don't want to play, that's fine. to the isolated shack. That's where that hunter was. I kind of feel like there might be something over there. That looks suspicious. And so does that, actually. Let's go over here. I don't trust that this is an empty area. I don't believe it for a second. Not for a second. But in this case, this one actually is. Alright. And then I was also convinced this is something. I'll kill some wolves, why not? And level 5, this is what I'm used to. The other one's a level 1, which is weird. Be nothing. Nothing at all? Alrighty, how close am I? Oh, I'm like right there at the tower. 
Well, I may as well go to the tower. Hi, wolf. Hi, wolf. I can make the game harder by turning up enemy upscaling? That just sounds annoying. That doesn't sound like it's harder. That just means that everything will be upscaled to my level. But any difficult fight I'm going to do, they're going to be above my level to start with, so that's not going to affect them. That's just going to make every single fight annoying, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, I get- I earned these levels, I want them to mean something. I don't want the little... level 5 wolves to be any sort of challenge. I'll fight level 12 wolves for that. Alright, uh... All oh, right, I never looked at my quest. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Whatever the heck it was called. Look at this! Look at this! It's crazy. Oh, there we go. Scavenger hunt, Griffin school gear. Geralt came across evidence of the legendary Witcher George's equally legendary equipment. Having heard many tales of this gear's extraordinary traits, Geralt decided to investigate. Geralt managed to acquire diagrams for all the items that had once been used by the Witcher George. While doing so, he discovered many previously unknown facts about the famous Griffin School Dragon Slayer. Alright, uh, now I'm thinking main quest. So let's go back to our main quest. Broken flowers. Go to the Rosemary in Time. We've been there before in Novigrad. I finally get to meet this dandelion fellow you've all been talking about and who's apparently writing my journal. Uh, all right. Wait, that's... Oh, that's the thing. Okay. I was I was looking for a, a means to get distracted, but I don't need it. Why is it showing there? That's not the... Is that the place? I thought it was located elsewhere, but maybe... Maybe I got confused. Anyways, here we go. So bored I can spew. Oh, it's locked. This is not the place I thought. Hey, I went to a different I'll place. Never come back, you stinking stadges. All we wanted was go give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get sick. sick. <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Ah. It'll be fisticuffs then, eh? Can't do that right now, why not? There we go. I'll have you know, I'm the Grand Master of Ellen. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. 
What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. Rather not worry you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. A couple things. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Siri. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned that you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Search the ground floor for clues. Alright. Oh. That's clearly it. But what else we got in here? We got a big <laughs> chest. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. <laughs> I like this guy. All right, that's the stash. I thought it was a big old chest. Well, it is a big old chest, but not in the way I thought. Uh, I've been keeping these relics, but apparently they're not that rare. But you know what? We'll keep the stash going a little bit longer. This one I'm not ready to stash, though, because I'm still not sure if I want to keep using the other or not. This one I want to keep with me because it's interesting. Secondary weapon. Actually, that might be better. All right. At some point, I'll sell all this and get some money. Or break it down for... Actually, that might be the better strategy, is just to keep them for resources. Uh, okay. I do want to see if that's better, though. Man, that is a lot of raw damage, plus armor piercing. I feel like we at least need to try out this axe. But it's not steel, but that shouldn't matter. I don't think there's anything particularly special about steel. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Letter from Bomil de Rab. Dear Viscount, once more, I would like to convey my thanks for agreeing to grace my son's wedding ceremony with your song. I think it's Viscount, actually. Your presence warmed our hearts, and the sweet notes from which you serenaded us so touched my wife's mother, the Baroness Duvlet, called in some circles a cold and heartless bitch, that tears of tender or that tears of tender emotion appeared in her eyes. Bomil de Rab. Hey, I was right. Setsuna has confirmed it. 
from the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. What's this? Letter from Fran. When will you return to Sedaris? I hope it will be soon, for I miss you terribly. Waiting to see you again literally pains me. If you are to come, send me a message beforehand. I'll ask my mistress for a day off. Letter from a female admirer. The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot. The whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. The music, the singing, you. For that one brief moment, I felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning chords. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry? Five cases of sodden triple mead? Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It's his planner. I like the snarky response. That's rich. Dandelion and planning? Huh, dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So... Who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Well, that could help. That could help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Read Dandelion's Planner. And we got an entry for Zoltan Chive. I have his card. Alright, let's look at that first. I am curious about this guy. He seems pretty cool. Zoltan Chive, a dwarf, a soldier of fortune, a veteran of the Battle of Brenna, an unassailable optimist, a committed altruist, a lover of rough drinks and rougher songs, a master Gwent player, oh really, and above all, a dear and loyal friend to me and Geralt. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Zoltan Chive. We first became fast friends years ago, when Geralt and I ran into Zoltan and the band he was leading at the time across war-stricken Riverdale. It proved our fate to cross paths many times after, and we eventually became inseparable companions, sticking together through good and ill. At our tale's beginning, Zoltan and I had gone into business together running a Novigrad tavern called the Rosemary in Time. Alright, so how do I read this planner? I guess I go to my inventory. And... Here. Rosa Var Atra. That name sounds familiar. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Hmm. Maybe I have talked to her. That sounds familiar. 
Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she sun or she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Gildor of Avila next to the morgue. And Vespula. Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Far corners, laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. And Marabella. Though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. The bits near Popper Square and Elahal, a figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Tailor shop across from the tannery. So we got six ladies to talk to, apparently. Oh, five. I can count. Character entry added for Louisa Lavalette. Lavalette? I don't know who that is. She's not even on the list. Not even on the list. Who is this? Louisa Lavalette. Baroness Maria Luisa La Valette was the talk of Temeria in her time. This noble woman had been King Fultest's mistress and even bore him two illegitimate children. This caused quite the scandal and prompted several notable families to take up arms in revolt, only to be bloodily crushed by the king's forces, who took La Valette castle during a hard-fought siege. I don't know why she popped up, but okay. Perhaps a little early. All right, you guys are not maintaining the best business here, I gotta say. I expected better. I expected much better. And didn't even leave shinies for me, too. Up with that. Oh, there we go. I get one shiny. And that's locked. All right, time to go talk to the ladies. Although I wonder if it has a backyard. Actually, I'm gonna talk to this old one real quick. Still here. Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Oh. What about Molly? Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? Dan Alliance not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Well, now that makes sense. Why I got that entry. Marabella. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. <laughs> oh, doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She <laughs> didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool trigger as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. <laughs> Vespula. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Rosa Var Atra. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue. Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. 
She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosavar Atre named her Gwihir. Well chosen, eh? All right, but Varatra, her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes, you know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Elahal. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? See, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <laughs> I like this guy. Know all I want to know. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. All right. Where was the backyard? Is it over here? I think so. Ah, there's nothing back here. I'll miss a woman's touch. Okay, let's look at the map. We got one very close. That's Vespula. Then we got one over here. That's Elehal. That's the elf, and then the rest are up in the rich area. We got Molly, Marabella, and Rosa Varatra. I still feel like I know that name for some reason. Maybe it came up in a book or something. All right. Anyways, Vespula. Julia, like you, agreed to pay him more. But what we didn't and couldn't agree is that there'd be a war now, could we? My customer's been cut in four. Quite a coincidence. That's why I aim to tell you. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Get out of here. Go. Now. Now listen. You might have two swords, but there's four of us. Yeah, four men collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. <laughs> yes, he will. He will quite literally burn you. Ow. I actually kind of hurt. We'll do quick. Alright, this thing seems pretty good. Plus, I just like using a different weapon. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax, it'll come off. Relax, it'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well, 
I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. I need to ask you about Dandelion. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Who was he with in Harborside? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ah, Horvia, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks, good luck. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. <laughs> the man's got charisma. Poor guys didn't even get to enjoy their rusted chicken leg or rusted. <laughs> They're chicken legs. Roasted. Alright, we'll go to Elehar next. Oh, it's this guy. Wait, what? I remember this guy. I bought some stuff from him, I think. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihau. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Well, that was a twist. Wasn't expecting this. And then? What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. When did you last see Dandelion? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? 
What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to go out. Why do you dress that way? I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Doxide thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. All right. Next is Marabella. Oh, character entry for Ella Hall. Do, 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 do. Or Ella Hall. Geralt erroneously interpreted one of my notes to mean that Ella Hall and I had been a couple. Alas, while anyone would be thrilled to count this outstanding elf, wonderful conversation partner, and superb tailor among their conquests. In fact, no more than friendship and fine wine had ever passed between us. Geralt found this out when he visited Ella Hall's tailor's shop, where he also got a first-hand glimpse of the elf's unusual hobby, adopting the dress and mannerisms of those different from himself in race, sex, and social status. Alright. I think Marabella... Is the one in the, the bit storm, damn it. Right at the border to the rich district. Who is there? Oh, it's just the big. He was standing like he was someone important. Actually, I feel like the other one might be closer. Oh, no, that's the one I wanted. All right. Hey, it's the horse sons. Oh, wait, I can uh, have him fight for me. Oh, well. I used it on. Mind control. Oh, mind control. Hey, you're not fighting for me. Uh, maybe I didn't slot it. Ah, whatever. Don't need it. It's just for funsies. I feel like because I'm using an axe, I should get some Kratos battle music. It's more appropriate.
the school? That is the school. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Fine, I'll wait. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come Mom? after all. Where are ya? A rat bit him, and he's probably... This is the lesson I just listened to. I'm a big creep. Watch through the window. I always have to kick kids, apparently. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. He wrote a poem about you. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Ah, uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! Her snakely whip rose skyward. Gee ho! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. I think she's got, uh, I think she should keep her, her, uh, day job. See him later? See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Farewell. Thanks for your help. Farewell. All right, next is Molly. Let guard. This baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Matt Voorhees in Vizima. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? 
No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Sure, why not? Happy to go with you. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know much about the others? Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. <laughs> And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. I'd like to talk to Molly. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Know a lot about horses? Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Let's race. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? I will ride... Hmm. Not interested in the first two. One that, uh... Like, the most, uh, rambunctious one is an interesting choice for Geralt. But I also like stamina. I feel like... Geralt would probably try to show off by doing Thunderbolt. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with Thunderbolt. I think that's the best choice. Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. He's fast. Mm. 
Not a whole lot of stamina, though. Slow it down. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. Ha <laughs> ha! I managed to block him off and keep all my stamina. Oh, what the? Uh, why? <laughs> hey, I won. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Superior racing saddle. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. Alright, that's my new saddle. Is it any good? Let's see. Fifty stamina, heck yeah. Boom. Oh man. Well worth it. Hello, Molly. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Oh, I'm gonna let you guys choose on this one. Just because I don't know their... their, uh, history as well. What choice? He rescues me, or I rescue him. <laughs> Talk him up! Be the wingman? I mean, wingman is supposed to, you know, get you to the action. I feel like the action's already been had. Be the wingman he deserves. Well, the poll's not going in your favor there, Setsuna. Alright, ending the poll. I rescue him. Actually, I'm always rescuing him. That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But, <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let you guys choose again. I have fun with the polls. I like seeing what you guys want. Uh, dandelion doesn't have a sister or what was your last conversation or I'll just put last conversation on. what do you guys think <laughs> wow you guys are not bros I strip you of your wings no buffalo wild wings for anyone but set <laughs> Man, Thomas already had his wings picked out and everything. Poor guy. Alright, apparently we are very much not being a wingman. Dandelion doesn't have a sister. 
people have spoken. And the lion doesn't have a sister. You aware of that? You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister. I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet, and then change the subject. <laughs> I, I don't think we could be a bad wingman with this girl if we try. <laughs> remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why'd he need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks. Farewell. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Alright, why is it showing a marker over here? Oh, I guess that's to go back. All right. Oh, I get up there. Did you guys get up there? In the back? Oh, no, it's a, over here. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. I end up anyway, I'm curious. Oh, I'm not even that that far away. Seven cats in there. There we go. I wanna talk to him first. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Uh yeah, I'd like to go back. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Those pans are a little rough. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my printer came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders. All right, that just house. leaves. Your Greta's got the imagination of a drunk troubadour. Yes? She never lies about serious matters. Some stallkeeper told her the corpses were shreds. A stallkeeper. Another trustworthy source. Everyone in Novigrad wants others to listen to them. Fantastic tales are the easiest way. Well, I believe there's something to this. You'll yet see. Radovid's not a whit better than Amir. The guards nabbed him. I might be worse. It's more the stuff. And he gave I'll have it all in his way. I see you also told me the others. Let's go. Next week. But this week is the next week of which you spoke last week. This week is this week. Capital of the world, as they call it. But what's it matter when superstition and the fraught ones rule no good? Oh, 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 oh,
So many people talking. Oh my god. Alright, can I just walk in? Let me talk to this officer. The captain. G1. Hmm. I'm the new swordplay instructor. Looking for Rosa Var Atra. I'm the new cook. Well, I may as well just see if they'll let me in first. I doubt it. Want to see Rosa Var Atra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I bet you you're not needed. On your way now. Alright, well can I say I'm the new sword instructor? Thanks, we ain't looking for no witcher. Alright, well, guess not. Should've went with it. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Oh, that guy's in the ground! Finding work here, you know, with the eternal fire burning and all that. I doubt. Maybe over here. Hmm. Actually, I might be able to grab that. You got this, Geralt. No, no you don't. All right. Could just mind control that fool. And she and that she'll not beg anyone. Perhaps over here. What are these guys up to? Okay. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Well, maybe that cough. All right, I'm not seeing a way in here. Do you know Mr. Menga? You maybe. don't need to <laughs> Washed your hair lately. Sod off. Oh, what's. No. He's a witch hunter and chased his old crows. Hey there, handsome. Oh, well, maybe there's a way back here. Let's see. Oh, what's that? That was a little weird. Ah, it's nothing. I, I don't understand why he won't just grab this. I was basically there. Ah, fine. Clearly can't go that way. Maybe there's a way through the sewer. Or maybe we just come up this way. Oh, am I in? I think I'm in. I'm in. You fancy men like me. Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vakran? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Bar Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. 
The Var archers demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Put him in line. I hope you realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. A wooden sword. Follow me. way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. <laughs> Those are some pants. Apparently she forgot our earlier conversation. is going to be all bruised up. I thought you were supposed to be good. Oh, well, she actually got me there. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Oh, she's talking crap. That's her mistake. Damn it. Well, but you're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Yeah, what is it, a twin or something? Didn't we just talk? Does she have a twin? Didn't we just talk? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? <laughs> it's a twin or doppelganger. Something's going on. You're not bad with the sword. Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Need to ask you about Dandelion came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. <laughs> All right. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Oh, she got me. I mean, credit to her. She lands hits occasionally. Not bad if you can manage to hit a witcher. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Ooh. 
You gotta take the whole health bar this time? What's going on? She's losing her confidence. That's Why enough of that. Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? You know what? I'll do it. She's got spunk. Gladly. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden? <laughs> of course it was me. Why? Did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Dandelion have trouble keeping you straight? Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. <laughs> Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion acts strangely lately? Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Interested in politics? Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Well, this is kind of a weird side discussion, but... I uh, wonder how the war's going. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor and his cohorts must be ecstatic. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. I want to ask about something else. Changing subjects. Dandelion, whose talents did he praise? Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. 
He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. I should go. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Where and when? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Richard. Now, I wonder if there's uh, actually <laughs> lessons along with that lesson, fencing lessons. I think she would actually want to fight first. New quest. Fencing lessons. Go to the Var Atra residence tomorrow to give Rosa fencing lessons. Geralt had learned that Rosa Var Atra was a passionate devo devotee of the art of swordplay. Fencing lesson Geralt had given her while searching for yours truly had thrilled her to the core, and left her asking the Witcher if they could meet again for a repeat. Geralt had plenty of experience teaching young women with fiery personalities how to swing swords, and so agreed. Did he now? Alright, let's continue our quest here. And steal their stuff, of course. I do want to talk to him again, though. Okay, Swix. What language is that? KSN? I don't know what language they're speaking. I assume it's not an Guardian. Diplomatic report to His Imperial Majesty Amir Var Imres, Emperor of Nilfgaard. Since the time of my last report, remarkably swift progress has been made and sentiment in the city has crystallized. If anyone previously believed the ongoing war did not concern the free city, not a single resident now doubts the further course of the conflict will be determined within its walls. Our agents have our agents have confirmed earlier reports contending that King Radovid has important plans for Novigrad. And lately we have, we have observed an increase in his agent's activity as well as the spread of his propaganda. His prime objective seems to be seizure of the wealth held by the Church of the Eternal Fire. Yet, though Hierarch Himmelfart officially rules the city, true power is in the hands of local crime lords. I recommend the Emperor's agents focus further activity in that direction. Henry Var Atra by decree of his imperial majesty, ambassador of the empire of Nilfgaard in the free city of Novigrad. Oh, never mind, they are Nilfgaardian. Alright, what else is going on in this house? I expected this to be much larger. It's actually somewhat quaint. She who knows. All right, I must check the back door. Oh, there's an upstairs. I must check the upstairs. Doesn't appear to be much. Like I said, surprisingly quaint. All right, nothing too exciting. 
Ah, what's this? Samir Bar Amrice biography. Childhood and early manhood. Though the Nilfgaardian throne was his by right of birth, it would be many long years before Amir Var Imris, or Imris um, sat upon it. When he was but 13, an uprising engulfed the empire's capital. A usurper seized power, overthrowing Amir's father, Fergus Var Imris, who then refused to grant legitimacy to the coup. The usurper then decided he would break Fergus by having mages torture his son and heir, Amir. He failed in his plan, uh, was forced to kill Fergus, and Amir escaped. Presumably to a land beyond the Empire's borders. No reliable accounts of the Emperor's actions in exile exist. Some claim he fell into the company of a knight errant, serving as his squire. This seems plausible enough, though the tales about the eccentric knight's proclivity to charge at windmills must surely be storyteller's exaggerations. A few unreliable reports claim a connection between Amir and the fabled Urchin of Erlenwald, who saved the life of King Rognar of Sentra. This seems far less likely, for it is public record that when the Witcher Geralt of Rivia lifted the Urchin's curse, he was revealed to be a duke named uh, Duny, or Duny, who later wed Rognar's daughter, Pavetta, and perished at her side when her ship went down at sea. What is known for certain is that around the time of this great tragedy for the Kingdom of Sentra, Amir reappeared in the Empire and led a revolt to overthrow the Usurper and restore his own birthright. Soon after, he led the Empire's armies in their successful conquest of Sentra, setting a tone of determined military expansion that would endure through the rest of his reign. Alright, I did also want to check out the backyard. You know, Mr. Lingo. Uh, this is more what I expected. A little more space. Pam 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 Pam. Well, he probably won't like me stealing stuff. I won't do it. She might get upset with me if I kill her guards. One false move and you will regret it. All right. So I need to consult with Zoltan. Guys again? Oh, did my axe break? Oh, never mind, it got replaced. <laughs> that was amazing timing. Here now. 
Hold on, Zoltan. I gotta rob you blind. What's this? Letter from a female admirer. We already had that. We have it again. All your booze is belong to me. Where's that one? There it is. Alright, it's old. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? If you want to stop talking any deeper. Where'd you get her? That field marshal dude is replacement? The marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mages estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Couldn't they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? You first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. Not seen hiding or hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Dubious of Let's hear them. Let's hear them. I'm all ears. I uh, know how he wooed a last study in natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. You know where he went with the cook from the Pass of Flora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. Made us stay for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know about human woman, but that would bore a dwarf at last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. I think I got something. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I must be her. Who's Priscilla? Who's this Priscilla? A Troveritz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you get the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Doubt it. Hmm. Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Fox. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. All right, made Zoltan in the Kingfisher Inn after sundown. Been to the Kingfisher, but... Oh, that might be the one where... It's in some area two days road from the Zima. Lifeguard arrived there just before winter. Black Wolves didn't do no harm, not at first. Oh, I, uh, I think the Kingfisher might be the one where we met the guy who would 
potentially take us to Skellige. I think that's the Kingfisher. Strength's gone. Oh, no, this is the Kingfisher, the one right near the, the square. I'll go ahead and meditate out here. Meditation! We will wait until... 10 p.m. Alright, should be good. already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
Doctor, has he murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard? Silence, woman. I've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce uh, this year's Prasama, known also as Kalanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> she knows me well. Seems Dandelion left nothing out. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Reuben? Who's that? Reuben. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Breaking into a vault. What was Dandelion thinking? Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. He brought the paper his way into Baza Flora once. He made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He had debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Take it the heist was a bust? Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuben, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. <laughs> Hope Dandelion gets out of this alive. <laughs> All right, I'll help. I need him. Looks like I gotta rescue Dandelion again. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now.
Oh, our quest is completed. And now we're level 14. We're leveling up like crazy tonight. All right. Whoop. Oh, still telling me about stuff. All right. What else? New quest. Get Junior. All right. Uh, in our glossary, we got new characters. We got Priscilla. As a poet and a romantic, I have immortalized in flowery verse the charms both corporeal and spiritual of many women. Yet when I open my mouth to sing the praises of Priscilla, I find, hard as this might be to conceive, that my throat constricts. Words turn to meal in my mouth, and all elaborate turns of speech seem artificial and empty when compared to the natural beauty, talent, sensitivity, and intellect nature has bestowed her. Priscilla, or Kalanetta, the stage name under which she gained artistic renown, was, around the time of our story's beginning, enjoying the last stop of a triumphal tour of concerts that had taken her from sumptuous courts of Lan Exeter and Pont Venice through Tretigor and Kelf, finally bringing her to the glorious city of Novigrad. And there's Horson Jr., who looks an awful lot like... What's his face? Alright, look at his face. And then, look, I think his name's Morvrin. Morvrin? The guy I just went to the races with. Now look at his face. He's a little more powdered up, but those look like similar faces to me. Anyways. Cyprian Wiley, the younger, was one of Novigrad's most dangerous criminals. He had inherited his father's casinos, fighting ring, and brothels, as well as the old man's sadistic tendencies, ruthlessness, and lack of scruples. These traits made the moniker Horson something of a family heirloom for his powerful criminal clan. Alright, and then our quest is complete. Get Junior's level 12 quest. Uh, where was it? Jeez, ah, I always forget the name of the quest. It had flowers in it, I know that. Doug, I don't see it. It's in here somewhere. Mm, do, 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 do. Broken flowers, there it is. Geralt had learned from the dreamer Kareen Tilly that Siri contacted me while in Novigrad. He thus made his way to the Rosemary in Time, a charming establishment which I had inherited from an admirer of my poetry, for he quite rationally expected to find me there. His search for Siri seemed closer to a happy conclusion than ever before. Alas, fate had raised his hopes only to dash them cruelly back to the ground. Geralt did not find me at the proprietorship. His despair was partially lifted when he came across our old friend Zoltan Chive, but the dwarf had just returned from a long journey and knew nothing of my fate or that of Ciri. Concern wrinkling his brow, Zoltan helped Geralt search every corner of the establishment for clues about where I might be. Other than a few triflings, all they found was a planner com containing notes about the woman I had met with in the days prior, or the women I had met with in the days prior to my disappearance. They divided the names between them and ventured into the city to find the women and ask what they knew. Geralt conversed with the ladies whose company I had recently graced. Though each had fond memories of these encounters, none knew where I might be now. Geralt gleaned from their stories that there was one person who might know more, a famous and talented Tro Troberitz named Priscilla. It so happened this ravishing starlet was still in town and performing every night at the Kingfisher Inn. Like it or not, the Witcher was in for an evening of fine culture, at the end of which he hoped to take the artist aside for a serious chat. Priscilla told Geralt about the ruckus I had supposedly raised at Horson Jr.'s headquarters, and that I had been planning to rob treasure from Siggy Reuven, a man better known to Geralt as Sigismund D Dijkstra. Dijkstra, whatever. Former head of Redanian Intelligence and one of my spies in my Gwent deck. Geralt now realized I was up the proverbial creek in a leaky boat without a paddle, surrounded by man-eating crocodiles, and he would have to swim to my rescue. Alright, let's look at all of our quests again. So, let's see, we got Git Jr., go to the bathhouse and talk to Siggy Reuven. Thanks to the lovely Priscilla, Geralt now knew Siri and I had struck a deal with Horson Jr., one of the big four bosses of the Novigrad Underworld. 
It seemed a simple matter of finding Horson, having a chat, and getting out of him where to look for me. But in the Novigrad of the time, nothing was simple, and nothing was as it seemed. Then there's also Count Reuben's tre treasure. Fear gripped the witch's heart as he knocked on the bathhouse doors. He knew that, shortly before I disappeared without a trace, I had been planning to rob Siggy Reuben, one of the most powerful and dangerous men in the north. He would have to inquire about my fate without arousing any suspicions, which was a tall order indeed. For while Geralt may be an excellent witcher, he is one lousy actor. Alright, um... Oh, we could go back to her. Let's go back for some fencing lessons. After I talk to Priscilla, and after I take everything from this room. I'm, uh, I'm itching for some fencing lessons. Definitely fen fencing lessons, nothing else. Oh, I had seen her before. I knew I recognized that name. The Kingfisher Inn proudly invites you to nightly performances by Priscilla the Calanetta. Guaranteed to tug every heartstring. I had seen those ads. Go. Dandelion, how'd you meet? Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. See ya. Take care now. What shall I whip up for supper? Alrighty. I guess I may as well ask now. Do you seek to get me drunk, sir? If I was seeking to get you drunk, madame, we would not be drinking Cote de Blessure. Why ever not? It's too expensive. <laughs> Lord, the thieves, whores, and murderers. Um, I may as well ask now. Is, Do I need to, uh, set this to adult? Is this an adult time stream? Move on. No? Okay. Winds howling. not showing up. It might not, uh, an entire day might not have passed. Well, let me talk to him again. See if he's salty. Piss off! None of your kind will get in here on my watch. <laughs> that didn't last long. Well, here they are. Here, Sam. Okay, Swix. Alright, I guess we wait. Meditate. Noon's a good time to do. Actually, no. Geralt rises early. It's 9 a.m. He's an early riser. I highly recommend you visit. Okay. I mean, maybe I go down here? Or maybe I didn't wait enough time. I don't know. Well, is there any other quest I want to do? We can come back to this. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, what about that bog one? We already kind of started this one. A mysterious fog that killed all who ventured into it had arisen near the village of Dunwarren, inconveniently close to where Pete was being dug. Geralt decided to investigate this murderous mist and see if he couldn't put a stop to it. All right, I've already made some progress on that, so I think we'll do this one. Where is the nearest fast track? That would be there. So let's look at the map real quick. So that obviously takes us into Crookback Bog. We can do a little exploring while we're over there too. I think I met the dude there? I'm throw a marker there. Retrace my steps a little bit. I'm sorry, but I don't believe it. Oh, it's back here. A deserter from the squire's Oh, wait. A sorcerer's skull. And it's a sorcerer's blood, of course. Sorry. Black ones, the Danians. Of course. Long as they pay, they don't care. Okay, we are going to. Somewhere. The orphans of Crookback Ball. Poor orphans. Hello, drowners. I guess I may as well put some oil on. Why not? Here's my necrophage oil. Oh. Oh, cleaved him in two. Alright, was this the place? It was, I think. I think it was this guy. Lesla? I didn't do nothing. I think that's the dude I talked to. Don't I hit could me, be wrong. Sir. I'm not gonna hit you, I'm just stealing your stuff. Very different. I'm not that aggressive. Alright, well I think I talked to him. I, it's been so long, I kinda forgot. Let's go check that out, and then we'll go to the point. No ordinary fog, this. The odor. Metallic almost. <laughs> oh. Well, there's patches that are safe. This is not one of them. Okay. Well, that seems to be where we're gonna where we're gonna end up. That's the fog killing people, presumably. Oh, he got me. Ow! Jeez! Level 6 hurts! There's something here. The 
need to use the eye. individuals feed here I'm trying to examine him different claw marks all right never mind them guess a few individuals feed here same regardless unless let me tracks masked with magic this is getting interesting all right, there we go that's what I was trying to do Am I not seeing any more? Headed that way. And then, oh, there we go. Somehow lost him again. <coughs> Crap. Let me get rid of that other marker. Oh, well, it's going where I need to go, but now I'm confused. I was following the tracks and they're gone. Where's that body again? Dang it. I'm so lost. I think it was like... Right over here, wasn't it? Well, I seem to have lost it. Fine, drown her though! Alright, well, whatever. It's... It's over at that house I originally wanted to explore. Ended up losing the track. I, 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 I still want to see where it goes, though. Oh, here it is. Here it, oh, that's very close. Okay. So tracks go there. Then, which way is that oriented? No, it's still going this direction. Oh, there we go. Ah, here we go. Oh, and that gets me a path in, away from the mist. I'm thinking werewolf. A pack of werewolves. Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion. Oh, a foglet. Yeah, that would have made more sense. What's this? Bestiary entrance. Ignas something? Is that for the one I'm about to fight? Is he so special he gets a name? Ignis Fatus. The monster hunting the peat bogs of Velen turned out to be an ancient foglet. These are exceptionally long lived creatures. Some have even dwelt on this earth for over 200 years, growing stronger and stronger all the while. Blows dealt by foglets of such an age carry so much power, blocking them as out of the question. These foglets possess the ability to move extremely quickly, and not even Erdin can slow them down. 
Furthermore, they can meld completely into the mist, then suddenly rematerialize to strike from behind. Wearing heavy armor and making good use of the quinsign is highly recommended. Well, I always do that. Moon dust, necrophage oil, and quin. Well, we'll definitely be using necrophage oil. That is for sure. It's apparently somewhere around <coughs> here. Navigate the illusions to find the flower? What illusions? Interesting. What illusions? Oh, right there. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact carry me? Regular foglet? Oh. Quest update fencing lessons. Alright, so I guess she's ready now. Alright, where is this dude? What if I can just igni and break him out of it? No. Seriously, he's never gonna come out? What's going on here? Hello? Alright, fine. I'll just loot this stuff and move on, I guess. Alright, moving on. That's gross. That is gross. Necrophage oil for me. I got Thunderbolt if I need it, but I think we'll be fine without it. Yeah, he's, he's getting wrecked. Oh. Man, that's so quick. Oh, pain. I'm ready this time. I'm actually going to dodge that crap. Oh, too fast for it. Oh, thank you. Sorry, he strikes twice. Oh, no, oh, God! Alright, we need a heal. Where's that potion that heals me? Potion. I think it's Swallow. That's Vitality Regeneration. That's not what I want. There's one that just straight up heals me. I think it's these? No. What the heck is it? Swallow, blizzard, cat, werewolf, black blood. Okay, I know I have one that just straight up heals me. Where the heck is it? Griffin decoction. These are all decoctions. Woman out. What? Oh, I have it equipped. Gah! 
No wonder I couldn't find it. Monster Bone, Monster Tom, Foglet Teeth, Foglet Mutagen, Carabella, Relic, and a Foglet Trophy. Alright, what does that trophy do? Oh, do you just automatically equip it? I guess you do. 5% bonus gold. I don't want that. I want 10% chance to dismember. Okay. Alright. Collect the reward for the foglet. Oh, and let's check out the rest of the cave. Oh, I used my instant heal. Sad times. I wanted to use just regular food. Yeah, well. It's fine. I still have my uh, lifesteal one. Right, is this where the dude was hanging out? Oh, is there two entrances? Ugh. He found a horse. Entrance. This popped me on it. Right there. I guess that's the way I was supposed to go in? Well, I found a different way. Ah. Maybe that's why the fog lit in the back broke. Or maybe I can fight him now. Man, this thing likes horses, doesn't it? Enhanced cat. Exploding bolts. Ursine silver sword superior. Alright, let's turn this in. Looks like they got rid of all of the fog. Right, this was indeed the guy I had talked to. Lesla. Any titans? I'm here to collect the reward. Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher. That beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still my family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye, I will. Pay ye twice the fee, but in a week's time, once I've made up some of my losses. What are we doing? We'll pull this one. What choice? Demand the money or allow the loan. He did say he had it. Just saying. He misled us. <laughs> Take the interest.
I don't trust him. Beat the money out of him. <laughs> Shake him. Shake him until all his gold, gold coins fall out of his pants. All right. We're allowing this loan. Fine. See you in a week. Fine. So be it. But you remember that I'll remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank you, Witcher. Thank you kindly, my lord. My little bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. Returning in a week to collect the agreed upon reward plus interest. Alright, so... We did not complete that quest. We will have to return later. While I'm here, I would like to see what's going on over here. Did I? I've been there? And if not, why is it showing? Jeez, that's like a huge farmland over here. What the heck? Massive. And if it's not a farmland, it could be an army staging area too. One of the two. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's go see what this is. to our friend the foglet cave it's a bandit camp Oh, well, I just used Thunderbolt. This will be overkill. Overkill! Thunderbolt for a bunch of bandits. A little, a little over the top. Split bolt relic crossbow. Oh, is that a better crossbow than what I have? Let's see. Six to eight damage. It is, and it has a uh, plus 142 percent power. Put it on. All right. Did that. Let's go check this out. Maybe we'll check out that town. Pretty far south at this point. And we're actually kind of like making our way around a bit. Uh, but yeah, let's check this out. Then maybe we'll swing by that town. Or what appears to be a town. There's the big tree where we killed the spirit. I <laughs> got all those kids murdered. Eaten in a stew. Fond memories. Alright, I don't seem to be able to go up. Do I have to go around? Let's see what... Which way do I want to go around then? I can go around that way. Or this way. Well, if I'm going to go around this way, I'm going to swing by this town. Let's check out the town. Mm. 
You just had to kill the spirit, didn't you? It's true, I did. I'm not gonna trust some spirit I just met. He had to die. Something went down here. What is this? I found a monster cave, potentially. Oh boy. What have I stumbled upon? This is like another entrance. We'll go for a swim, right? Why not? Maybe there's there is stuff down here. Wait, why don't I have my crossbow? There we go. I still don't understand why this works underwater, but what are you gonna do? Boom! Headshot. That's not great. No, well, they just don't care. It's weird. Hope he's looking at me. Dead. Alright, go. What's down here? Swim faster, girl. You are freaking crawling. Uh oh, this is a long cave. Faster! I kind of think there might be something hidden back there, but let's keep going this way. Huh. Oh, this led to nowhere? Well, there's something down there, at least. I didn't pick up before. Will you swim, Geralt? My god. There we go. Superior Devil's Puffball, and I feel like maybe I can go up here? Oh, totally can't. Okay. Oh, crap. I gotta hurry. Hurry, Geralt. Don't drown. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he gonna make that? <laughs> Go quicker! And... Safe. Easy. Alright, well, I can't get back up there, so I guess I'm going over here. Oh, and this just leads me back to here. This is a strange area. Okay. Road to Bald Mountain. Okay. I have found the road to Bald Mountain. And now I'm at this town. I got there the hard way. T 
tis a village. Oh, tis a angry village. Oh, level 26 foglet. That's nasty. That is nasty. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Alright, you know what this calls for? Enhanced Thunderbolt. Oh, that's a Foglet, too. Oof, two Foglets. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let us dance! Enhanced Thunderbolt. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God! Want some of this? Huh? Want some of that? Oh, how you like them apples? Oh, I don't have a... I gotta get my oil. Necrophage oil. Where is it? Uh, on top of that, I'm going to use my crit potion. Where is that? There it is. Let's go ahead and equip that here. Have a count. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Hit him, dang it. Oh. What? Wait, the little fog dudes can break your twin? I thought they were just illusions. They actually hit you? That sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> Get dodged. Oh, God. Oh, you suck. Ah, crap. Too slow. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. Right, what do I got? I have, um... I have the lifesteal thing. Where's that? Oh, I could use this too. Whenever a single hit drains more than a third of your vitality, a quin shield is activated. But I we don't need that. Vitality drained ten percent though. That's pretty freaking good. Let's do that. Oh, can't do that right now. Crap. All right. Oh, I never noticed you can actually see the mist as they approach. Oh, that's so helpful. I somehow never noticed that before, but I think it's mostly because I've bought them in, oh God, in really dark places. Man, that freaking vitality drain sucks. It's no good at all. Oh, oh wait, no, I, I didn't have the vitality drain. That's why. Ah. <laughs> Stay away from me. All right, I have a poison on me. I don't think I can do anything about that. Unless... I do have the ability to remove all of my toxicity. That might actually be what's poisoning me. Let me just do that. White honey. Oh, and all active... Oh, it cancels all active potion effects. I don't want that. Let's use a swallow. have to. Ah! No! Oh god. It's not going well. All right, I don't think I have any active potions anyway. We're going to We're going to clear this toxicity and use a swallow. White honey. Swallow. 
Toxicity at 90%. Um, poisoned you? I see. Well, luckily I had my white honey. Alright, that was intense. We got through it, though. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put my thunderbolt back in. Shiny, they made it so that you can hold X to sprint in GTA Online now. Interesting. I think I'm so used to it, though, I'll probably never switch. <laughs> but I did always find that annoying. But I think it's so ingrained in my memory now. I'll probably just do it forever. Another one? No! 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 <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm well practiced now. I know what to look for. I can see his stupid little fog thing. That was too Actually, are they gonna let me fog? You know what? Screw it. I'm fighting him. I'm fighting him. We're going. We're doing this. We're doing this. Yeah, come on, come get some. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. I, okay, you seem confused. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I need my necrophage oil back. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do. Where is it? Where is it? And actually, is my sword at full uh, repair? Because if it's not, that's going to hurt my damage. It is not! We got to fix that. Maybe that's part of our problem. Oh, wait. That's over here. Actually, let's use the master one. Boom. All right. All right. Thunderbolt. Let's go. Time to beat him up. God. Swallow. All right, we use swallow. What? Hey, get back here. I'm not done with you. Crap. No. All right, get over here. Dang it. Where's that other one? There he is. I want you, I want your friend. Just a little help. Ah! Crap. 
Once I get down to one, it's fine. Having two of these guys at once is the worst. Ah! Especially with their little fog buddies. Dang it. Here, heavy attack. Ah, God. It's so hard to see that miss sometimes. Oh, I need new oil, I'm sure. New oil. Is it? Oh, right, it's right here. He's like running defense for his buddy. There we go. Oh, get him! Yeah, chopped his head off. All right, me and you. That's easy now. I can do the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it came from behind. He tricked me with his little buddy. Well played. Oh, tear him up! Dang it. Just got him. Oh, he died. I guess I poisoned him. Oh, I have a chance for bleeding, that's right. Oh, I wonder how much damage that was doing the whole time. I forgot that my chance for bleed is like 35% or something ridiculous. All right, the foglets have been cleared out. They were pains in the butt. We can get into here with our guard. Hey Tobias, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Well, it's nice to finally be challenged enough to be like, what potions do I have? I want to use my Witcher stuff. Because usually I just Quinn and, and then that's it. There's kind of nothing else that's needed. So that was fun. Got all these tools. I want to use them from time to time. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's enough exploration over here for a while. Let's go do the um, the fencing lesson. Been looking forward to that. Where's that at? Fencing lessons. Oh, it says talk to the guard captain. Okay. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see me again. He seems to like me a lot. Okay. To here. The Ave Witcher. Black ones, Bredanians, as long as they pay and don't hit. Greetings! Are you here for a specific reason? Do to meet Rosa. Got a meeting with Rosa, a fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Meet with Rosa. Temple Bridge. Isn't that the one into the bits? Let me look. Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah, it's way down there. I might just fast travel. Let's just fast travel. Before the combat mods five levels above was too much, this is wild to watch. Yeah, I don't know. I thought... I, I have no... Black knowledge of what was changed or not. So. All I know is the current state. I know nothing otherwise. Why is there a... Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, it's a thug. Let's dance. What are you thugs doing here? Are you harassing these poor citizens? Wait, what's the mess? Get blocked. Dude, I killed level 26 Fogmas. You think you're gonna do anything to me? Get out of here. And Rosa should really not be here at night. What is she doing? I know she can handle herself decently well, but still. She should not be out here. Okay, good. She has a guard. Nof Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said And that... this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. Hmm. Actually, I'll, I'll let you guys choose. What choice? Be a little defensive or not? What about training? Or oh, you're using me. Get a little defensive. What would you guys like to see? About training feels like such a funny answer. <laughs> All right. What about training? We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. I feel like the time of day switched. She's gonna go into a real battle. That's what she's gonna do. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. R really rather not hurt you. Fighting with real sword, bad idea. Really rather not hurt you. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. Oh god. Alright. 
Did he at least, like, hit her with the blunt side? I think he did. I can't tell. Shut up and fight. I <laughs> got into it real quick. Ow. Alright, hold on. Oh, I use Swallow, really? I'm using Witcher potions against her? That's. I was trying to just... Change off the swallow. Hi. I feel like this is gonna get me in trouble. Maybe I need swallow because I apparently can't block anything. Why the interest in fencing? By the way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. What now? All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Awfully axe shaped Can't steel sword I have. It's an illusion. Alright, where the heck did she run off to? She Batmaned me. What's he doing here? Never expected her to Batman me. Come to the wrong tavern, Birdie. Black ones aren't welcome here. Get your filthy hands off me, you wretch. Well, <laughs> didn't take long for her to get in trouble. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters, just the way things are. But this beastie, oh, we'll tempt the world ourselves. Apologize and leave, Jedi mind trick. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For Forgive me, me lady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low, and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Cole. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. Let you guys choose again. We can chastise her. Or just say it's over. Lessons over. This is why they hate your face.
This is why they hate your face. End the poll. You wonder why the North hates Nilfgaard. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard. I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. It was an actual fencing lesson after all, and a lesson in life. Such a nice view of the city. It's really cool. Uh, let's see, fencing lessons done. Geralt had learned that Rosavar Atra was a passionate de devotee of the art of swordplay. The fencing lesson Geralt had given her while searching for yours truly had thrilled her to the core, and left her asking the Witcher if they could meet again for a repeat. Geralt had plenty of experience teaching young women with fiery personalities how to swing swords and so agreed. Once they were done with their lesson, Geralt was supposed to escort the young lady home. Rosa, however, was clearly still in the mood for some recreation and gave him the slip during a moment of inattention. The Witcher knew he needed to find her or land himself in a heap of trouble. Rosa found out for herself that not all residents of Novigrad respect diplomatic immunity. The Witcher saved her from a tight spot, but also discovered a dark side to her character. It was clear to them both that there would be no third fencing lesson. Alrighty, so... That's gonna do it for tonight. As usual, it feels like we just barely scratched the surface on exploring anything and then suddenly four and a half hours is gone. Uh, but we did a little bit uh, of exploration. We, we made a lot of progress in the main mission, which was nice. Um, went around the bog a little bit. We did go over here. And then we were hanging out in this area. Went to that little island over there. But that's about it. Wasn't a whole lot outside of that. But we did knock out a bunch of quests and we didn't get a lot of new ones. Like, look at my quest list. Like, this is, this is crazy. It's like, manageable. Still a lot. But, but, progress. And this one's actually done too. We just have to wait. So yeah, getting things done. Oh, then we got the treasure hunts too. You know, instead of like 40 quests, there's like 35. <laughs> Manageable. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, I'll be uh, hopefully finishing Ghostwire Tokyo. Should be able to. Uh, Thursday, we'll be back here on The Witcher. Friday's Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with Blueberry. Saturday's The Witcher, and Sunday is GTA Online. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun, and I will see you all next time.